yeah so if you watched the last part um, part two then you knew that this was coming but yeah um, what I recommend is that you pause this video watch part two and then try this problem on your own after watching part two but yeah okay I'll assume that you've done that let's get started so what we're gonna do here is make use of the cosine double angle identity which is the cosine 2x among other things is equal to 2 cosine squared x minus 1 and since this is all we need we'll stop here uh, there are three versions of this identity and I wrote them all in part two so check that out now what we're gonna do once uh, we have this identity is solve for cosine 2x and that'll look as follows so we see that um, cosine 2x did I say cosine solve for cosine 2x I meant co solve for cosine squared x I think you knew that um, if I did misspeak okay um, right and then next we're gonna divide by 2 and write a half cosine 2x plus a half is equal to cosine squared x all right now with this handy we can get started rewrite our integral as follows which is a half cosine 2x plus a half times dx and so this is gonna say one half integral cosine 2x um, dx if we just write two different integrals plus integral of one half dx and this in turn is going to be um, quarter sine 2x I explained in detail why it's got to be a quarter in part two so watch that if you're not sure why it's got to be a quarter but yeah uh, and then plus half x plus c and we could also write this alternatively as one fourth times two sine x cosine x as sine 2x is 2 sine x cosine x and then plus a half x plus c and therefore our final answer as one half sine x cosine x plus half x plus c and this final answer here is no more preferable than what we had had and writing that so you could write what I just underlined is your final answer yeah cool take care